Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to evaluate another interesting integral. Integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times cosine of natural log of x dx. Well, today morning I watched a video uh, uh, how to calculate i factorial. Uh, it's published by Black Pen Red Pen YouTube channel. And uh, while watching that video, I saw this integral. Okay, how to evaluate? Okay, uh, first I am going to uh, begin with gamma function. The definition of gamma function we know gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the c minus 1 dt. Okay, then uh, instead of c, I am going to substitute x plus i y. So, here gamma of x plus i y is equal to here 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the. Now, instead of c, we have x plus i y. So, x plus i y minus 1 t t okay then we can simplify 0 to infinity e to the minus t now here t to the uh, here real part x minus 1 so t to the x minus 1 times t to the i times y t t okay then um, integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the x minus 1 times <clears throat> here we have t to the i y we can write t is equal to e to the natural log of t so <clears throat> we can write here now e to the uh, natural log of t times y so uh, we can write natural log of t uh, raised to the i y power uh, sorry i y power so natural log of t times i y d t okay then um, here 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the x minus 1 now here we have e to the natural log of t times i y so uh, we can use Euler's formula so we can write here cosine of uh, y times natural log of t so y times natural log of t plus i times sine of y times natural log of t d t <coughs> okay then we can split this integral into two different integrals so we can write uh, 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the x minus 1 times cosine of y times natural log of t dt plus i times 0 to infinity uh, sorry here yeah. e to the minus t t to the x minus 1 sine of y times y times natural log of t dt okay then mm, here yeah, we know this is equal to gamma of x plus i y okay uh, same as if we take uh, x minus i y here instead of x plus i y if we take x minus i y we will have gamma of x minus i y is equal to here 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the uh, same as x minus 1 cosine of y times natural log of t dt now uh, uh, instead of x plus i y uh, we took x minus i y so now here uh, minus i times minus i times same integral 0 to infinity e to the minus t t to the x minus 1 uh, sine of y times natural log of t d t okay then hmm, what's the next step okay now uh, 
here I am going to take this equation 1 and this equation is uh, equation number 2 okay then uh, if we take um, some of these equations so 1 plus 2 now we are going to take the sum of uh, equation 1 and 2 so we have gamma of x plus i y plus gamma of x minus i y and uh, we know this part get cancelled and we have uh, sorry 2 times 2 times 0 to infinity e to the minus t cosine of natural log of t cosine of sorry here e to the minus t mm, t to the x minus 1 cosine of y times cosine of sorry here y times natural log of t t t okay then mm, this two we can take uh, to uh, left hand side and also uh, now i am going to plug in x is equal 1 and y is equal 1 so we have here gamma of 1 plus i plus gamma of 1 minus i over here 2 so here 2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity here e to the minus t uh, t to the x minus 1 now when x is equal 1 so t to the 0 power uh, then here cosine of y is equal 1 so natural log of t d t okay then we know uh, definite integral independent of the variable so we can change the variable instead of t we can plug in x so we have integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x uh, t to the 0 power 1 so here cosine of natural log of x dx is equal to gamma of 1 plus i plus gamma of 1 minus i over 2 okay this is the answer for this integral so if you uh, subtract uh, this two equation 1 minus 2 so you can evaluate uh, the integral 0 to infinity e to the minus x sine of natural log of x okay uh, if we evaluate also that integral we have uh, 0 to infinity e to the minus x uh, sine of natural log of x dx is equal to now we know if we subtract uh, this part get cancelled and here we have i minus i 2 times i so here we have gamma of 1 plus i minus gamma of 1 minus i over 2 times i okay if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching